Well, we've got another farm project here that we're going to work on for Dad. Uh, this is an 8120 combine, uh, something he's got a 2166 currently, and it's looking for an upgrade. And we found a machine here that uh, used to be a race machine. It's got a worn cone and worn. It's got a small rotor in it and a couple worn parts that we're going to just rebuild the thing top to bottom on the inside. Hopefully be a combine that lasts that a long time. We, uh, we work on trucks, but we're helping Dad out here on this project, so hopefully we're going to make a little video series about what all we do to the combine, go through it top to bottom. Hopefully get this thing ready for harvest here in a couple weeks. big is the fan that's on the front usually it has a panel that'll swing out this way and the fan you can actually get to like the front fan that sits in front of the radiator but this is the, these tubes unless they get smashed like unless you smack something with them they have a pretty good yeah, like don't let cody drive you'll probably be all right huh? no don't let me buy don't let me drive a sprayer i'll rip the boom off <laughs> i've done that i've done that two or three times combines i'm not too bad no. so this auger to see how thin it is in there. Yeah. That auger gets all new. It gets a sleeve and the elbow on top yeah. of the main auger. That gets changed because the pivot bearing where it rides is worn out. And then also there's tape on there, so it's obviously worn thin. So new elbow, uh, auger, and a sleeve. Then it gets a new cage, rotor, cone. Then we have to put a sleeve in the feeder housing. Mm -hmm. And then we have to, the feeder house, I'll show you panel the chains have worn down through it so they make a whole plate aisle makes one that weld in and then this doesn't have a rock track because there's a rice machine mm -hmm. so we have to put a shorter chain in it move this bearing housing up here and then the rock track goes back here because you really if you put a rock in a brand new rotor yeah. you got a situation so then, see the bearing housing up there? So yeah. it's got a hole worn on the other side. So that new, that new, new plate that goes there. That, so we get the feeder housing off, and that plate comes off, and the whole rotor just flies. Yeah. So yeah. Where's exactly? 3,000. Rice just that much more. Rice is just really abrasive. They say a lot of times, like if this is worn out like this in 3,000 hours, a corn machine would be worn like this in 5,000 hours. That's just going from what I'm reading. Yeah. I'm, I'm not an expert.
think that goes for the lights out there. Right here, you can see where the cover is worn through. It's got a little hole in it. Where at? Right up here. Are you gonna have to take a picture of every little thing? And then right here, you can see cage uh -huh. wire. Or the, yeah, the cage. That is cage is thin. Holy sh. That's impressive. It's got the small tube rotor in it for well, rice. yeah. So, but these concaves all change out. Mm. It's a new cage. Well, we got a liner, liner for the cage and the cone. New modules. It's brand new. Gotta open this first. Good old hot shot secret, baby. Holy moly. Ooh, that thing's beating. Pouring down the hot metal. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Is that the berry is still good. That is impressive. Rice. Wow. Look at that. Rice has to be yeah. ten times more abrasive than it, it any is. small grain. I'm just gonna say. I'm I've never seen that though. That's impressive. I've never seen one worn that thin. I mean, it's literally down to like. <laughs> There's nothing. It's. All right. We got the combine in the shop and situated today, and. Uh, Gonna start with just kind of climbing over the whole thing and making a list, trying to make sure that we have all of our main parts here. I have a feeling that when we get it apart, we're going to find some things that we need that we don't know yet, but um, I guess that's part of the process. So really we just need to uh, get a bunch of parts coming at this point and we may get the feeder housing off of it and get some of that stuff ready till we get some parts. But uh, for now it's, you know, really just try to find everything that's wrong with it and get a bunch of parts coming. And once parts are here, we'll uh, get rolling on everything. So it's gonna be a quick, uh, I don't know, three to four weeks till harvest. So we got a lot to do and uh, we'll see if we can learn something about 8120s in the meantime and get this figured out. <laughs> 